this is Yusuf with that tech though and today I have the Galaxy S8 and this is going to be a reaction video because I kind of stopped myself from going to the shops and seeing it myself so this is it so I'm going to get down to it and unbox this guy so the box is bigger than I expected so uh, I don't know if I got a freebie with it oh great I should have got a knife Really? Seriously? Right. So. Let's see what we get inside. Okay, interesting. Put that aside. Thank you for shopping with us. Right, okay, there's so nothing in the box. Cool. Actually, what's, let's see what's inside here, anyways. Yeah. Nothing interesting. Wow, man, they've been packaging this really well, man. The amount of padding in here. Right. So this is it. This is the Galaxy S8. And I've got the orchid grey colour. So let's not uh, waste any more time. Put that aside. Oops, also here it is. Okay. Oh my days. This, this absolutely feels gorgeous. I can't, I can't actually um, describe exactly what I'm feeling and uh, wow. Okay, I'm just gonna put this quickly aside and see what's in the rest of the box. All right, so um, Samsung's uh, UK adapter, charging adapter, a USB connector, or USB to USB-C. You also have a micro USB here to micro USB-C. Get your charging data cable. And they give you these AKG earbuds, supposedly around $99. So it's a nice little um, perk you get with it. Putting this aside, you get the SIM card ejector, whatever. I just wanted to the actual phone now, so let's get this on the way. Wow. You know what, man? This looks, this feels good. Gorgeous. Let's open this guy. Take that screen protector off. Can't hear that one, could you? And take the back off. Wow. Freaking hell, mate. This feels really, really nice. Look at this. I mean, it's it's just this feels solid in the hand. But let's quickly go around it. We have the SIM card tray, which also has a micro SD card. So you can put up to 256 gigabytes of the micro SD card. Um, you got a mic here. You got the fingerprint scanner, which is on the right or the left, actually. I wonder how that's gonna work. You got the sensors here, the camera here as well. A micro USB-C this time around. You got also the headphone jack, which is a uh, added bonus. Unfortunately, I have to say that these days. And you got the speaker grill, which is um, not stereo, which would have been nice. I heard it's not stereo. You have a couple of sensors here. I'm not sure if you can see them. Uh, you have obviously the pump facing camera, the iris scanner, and a few other sensors that is going to be here. 
So let's power on. Oh yeah, before I do, I just want to mention that there's a volume rocker on the left side, big speed button as well, and um, the power button there. And uh, obviously there's no home button here. Yep, we've got juice. Okay guys, I paused this video for a reason because I actually forgot to mention all the specifications about the Galaxy S8 because I got overexcited. So there's a list here and that's it, that's the specs here for you. And as that boots up, I have the Google Pixel with me so we can actually do a quick size comparison and oh my god, I can already tell here that the Pixel looks wider and Samsung one just looks Wow, I don't know. It's I've got to give it to Samsung here. They really nailed this one Okay, let's start and let's quickly do this um, start uh, Next I'm Just gonna quickly go to agree all quickly Yeah, yeah, yeah The display looks gorgeous Okay, face recognition, fingerprint scanner, iris scanner. I'm gonna do the fingerprint scanner, see how that works because I usually use that on my Pixel. So, set up a uh, set screen, pattern, continue. Just gonna do a quick, quick one, quick, easy one. And let's see how easy it is because obviously it's right next to the camera and uh, some people were already mentioning that it smudges because you put your finger there accidentally and uh, let's see okay I've already got an accidental press something I might maybe have to get used to hmm I wonder how many times okay I'm just hitting the left side just about the left edge of the lens or the right edge of the lens Okay, finally I got in there. Took a few hits and a few misses, uh, but I'll continue from that. Um, just leave it normal and done. So you got Samsung Cloud, all of that stuff. I am not going to bother with this. I'm going to just skip this. Customize content through voice. I don't think big speeds have enabled yet, but anyways, we'll just skip that. Go to the next one later, and we are finally in. Wow, this this looks stunning. Oh, it's nice, nice live wallpaper they have. Uh, later, I'm gonna put the brightness up. See how far it goes. This thing is bright, and and it it just looks amazing. The display is just absolutely stunning. QHD resolution. Whoa. Well, it's just an interesting interesting choice with the uh, wide um, aspect ratio but it doesn't look as bad as I thought I thought maybe because it's a longer display it's gonna look a bit odd but really and truly it looks absolutely fine okay you got Bixby on the left or basically replacing your Google now um, but yeah this 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 feels absolutely nice I, I, I don't know what else to say about this the build feels absolutely gorgeous it's sturdy. I'm like, well, I'm saying super sturdy. Like, I can just do a little flex right now, and this is actually tough. Samsung really, really actually made something here. I don't know what to say. I'm just literally speechless about this. Look at this. The edge, the curved display is actually subtle. I thought it was going to be a bit more close towards the Galaxy S7 edge, but no, it's actually quite subtle here. So you can just just about see the edge where it drops, where it stops here. So if you can see here, and so since I've got the pixel here, and I just want to view how each one of them feel aside. And uh, right now I'm gonna say the Google Pixel feels really, <laughs> it just feels wide compared to this and, and 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 Samsung's really nailed it look at this I like how the difference is in the, in the width it's very very narrow so I'm gonna show you it's quite narrow here you can just about see the pixel right around here they both are completely different towards each other 
Samsung's got a 5.7 inch display here and Google's got a 5 inch display here you can see the differences in it's just day and night right so that is the quick first impressions unboxing of the Galaxy S8 I've also got the Galaxy S8 Plus coming very soon and I'll be getting the Dex station and a full review will be coming very soon the next video you're going to see now is going to be the Google Pixel versus the Galaxy S8 in a camera comparison